Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a taking, excuse me, we're going to be taking a first look at Spectre WM or Spectrum or whatever they call it. Uh, we're just going to call it Spectre WM. Now I will be right up front and saying this is really a first look. This is not a review. You're going to see my reaction to loading this up for the first time. I've done a little bit of research on how to get this started so that hopefully this works right out of the box for me. Um, if, uh, if it doesn't, well, you'll get to see me debug it live or, you know, recorded live. So, uh, this right here is, uh, so I'm going to just jump into this right here. This is still DWM. This is not Spectre WMs, but uh, I want to show you how to install this. So I'm going to install this on bare metal. I'm not going to install this in a virtual machine. So we're going to hope that this works. Uh, so in order to, to install this, uh, on Arch, you just do uh, super sudo pacman dash s inspector wm. Now, as you can see, I've already done this, so I'm not gonna actually go through and and just re it'd be just reinstalling it. So I'm not going to do that. But that's really all you have to do. So um, I'm going to pause the video here. And hopefully when you come back, you'll see me in Spectre WM as it comes out of the box. So, pausing now. Alright, I'm back. So, this what you're seeing here is what Spectre WM looks like out of the box. Uh, kinda. So, for you, your background may be black. You may not have this exception up here if you have XLock installed. Uh, so... It may look a little bit different for you, but I had to do some things off camera in order to get this to actually work. So, first, default key bindings. Out of the box, your super key is going to be the alt key, probably. It also might be the super key, so if alt key doesn't work, try the the uh, mo the Windows key. For me, it, w it did end up being the Windows key, so, in so you do... Super shift enter to get a terminal and you're going to get X term X term is not a real terminal anymore. It's an old terminal it, I'm Maybe you can zoom up. Yeah, you can't zoom up. I can't like I don't even know nobody nobody uses X term It's just not something real people use Um, so to control to get out of that you super shift C Super shift X close that okay so and then super P to get term to get D menu and we'll open up a real terminal which is termite. That way we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, and it's clear out of this. So the things I've done off camera. By default, uh Spectre WM stores its default configurations in slash Etsy and then Spectre WM.conf. Okay? That's where it stores it. So I've I've done this. I've done c sudo cp slash etsy and then transferred it to dot spectrewm.com in my home directory. I've done that. Uh, I also did this this cat this um command here I did cat this uh, path here which is a, and then catted it into or appended it to the end of our spectrewm.com file. These are the default um, key bindings for Spectre WM. That way, they're all in one file. So, uh, just let's get out of that here and go. Let's go look at the file now that I've created. So we'll do vim spectrewm.conf and um, okay. Uh, oops, maybe the reason why I have oh you want it? so by default these things are commented out. I've already commented them. But uh, we're going to uncomment them here in a minute. Anyways, if you're on Arch Linux, in the default uh, Spectre WM configuration file, you'll have to sudo into that in, in, a, in a text editor and change this line here to this or some other font that actually you have installed. Because by default, it comes with a font called Terminus, and that is not installed, on, at least on my system by default. And that will, will make it so that you can't log into Spectre WM. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. That's one of the reasons why this has taken me so long. Because while it was instantaneous for you, it took me like 20 to 30 minutes to actually get this up and running. So 
my uh Spectre WM is a dynamic tiling window manager, which means that when you uh open up a new window, you get the master stack layout. So mod shift C close oops mod shift X closes these windows. Okay. Um and you know, basically that's what Spectre WM is. It's very, very much like uh DWM only the configuration file here, as you can see, is in plain text instead of written in C. Now, Spectre WM itself is written in C, but they've gone through and made this uh, like intermediate file that allows you to use things in plain text, kind of like when like I3 does. I3 is written in a different programming language than what its configuration file is. Um, so let's go through this real quick and kind of customize Spectre WM so that it actually works. So first, I'm going to uh, we're going to go to home here and uncomment this and go here at the end and just change this to 10. Okay, that's good. And we'll uncomment this and uh, um, I go and comment this and this and spawn position next is good. Warp focus, yes, and warp, yes. Um, and we can uncomment all of these things here. And we don't need the maximized color uh, or the unfocused. Uh, yeah, we can leave that one. And we do these and we change these to so we can have some gaps here and make these like, a, let's see here, five and five. Okay. And let's see here. No, so we want the bar enabled, obviously. Okay. And we want the. Hmm. Let's see here. And eventually, we're gonna go through and customize these so that they, they're a little bit more ricey. We just go ahead and come on. I'll uncomment a lot of this stuff here. All right. So this one here is going to be the default script. So you can't see up here, but the um. Eventually, we'll have, you know, like a, a status bar or whatever up here at the top. And um, that is, that will allow, you know, you put clock and your weather and your volume and stuff up there. And that's all done by a bash script. So, it's very similar to, um, it's kind of similar to how DWM does it, only they use X set root. This is using, you know, a bash script. All right, so uh, let's see here. I think justify left. Yep, that's right. Um, clock enabled. Clock format. That's fine for now. We'll change that later. I'm not sure what iconic enabled means. I'm so we'll, here in a minute. Let's do this. Watch well, shift enter. So man specter wm. So every all the documentation you'll need is in the man page. Let's I. You know, I did this in in X X term. Let's do this in termite so we can actually. So mod p termite, and we can zoom in. Man specter wm. Okay, that's good. Zoom out just a little bit. Um, let's see if. Okay, so mod and shift and j and k move the. But you can't. Make one bigger than the other. Okay, so let's click out of this and try again. All right. So, anyways, every all the things that you can do with uh, the bar, with uh, the key bindings and stuff, are all right in here in your man page. And I'm not going to go through this because I'm a dude and I don't need to read the instructions. <laughs> um, so we're just going to close out of that. Um, now we want to go down here to the bottom. We're not going to do any, oh, before, actually, what we're going to do, before we, we save this, we're going to unprogram, we're going to, actually, we're going to delete this line here, because I don't need it. Um, and we're going to change this to termite. Okay, and uncomment it. Okay. And we can actually uh, undo these for now as well. Um, eventually, I'll change that to, Rofi because I prefer Rofi to D menu, but for now D menu is fine. Um, so let's see here. We want to uh, 
So this section here changes, you know, defines whether or not you want a class of windows to be floating or, uh, you know, full screen. Uh, it looks like you can also have it so that it can do float and on a specific, you know, workspace, which is cool. Um, all right, so here are our key bindings. So bar toggle, bar toggle workspace. Uh, I'm not sure what button two is. Cycle layout is mod space. I'm assuming that goes from uh, floating to non-floating. Um, float toggle, actually mod T is flo floating. So, hmm, interesting. All right, that doesn't seem to work. Um, mod M. Focus, so that's gonna be like focus on the main, probably focus on the ma the master window. This moves focus between left and right. Um, let's see here. Oh, sh okay, Ooh, interesting. So mod shift equals. Oh, so let's let's do. Um, let's open up another, another term like window so we can. Oops, mod T mod. So I guess that was mod space. All right, so mod shift equals minus. No, I didn't. oh, that's height. But what's the what's to change the width? Master shrink. So mod H and mod E, mod H and mod E. Well, that's not so. It's mod H and mod L. Okay, so there's no shift. All right. All right, that's good. Good to learn. All right. Uh, let's see here. Um, maximize toggle. So if I do mod E, that just makes it uh, full screen. So that's the full screen uh, key binding. Um, mod P is for this. We want to change this to mod. Really want to change it to mod D. Hopefully there's nothing else here. Uh, move work workspace. I wonder what it would do if you had 22 workspaces. Oh, it actually does allow you. It does actually mod shift. Interesting. So it actually has all 22 workspaces because that's the, the default. And that'll allow you to change it to, tw to 22. Interesting. All right, so we want mod shift. We want to change this to mod shift. X to quit out of uh, Specter W. I'm so change letter X. Okay, and that means when, down here where my shift X actually is. Where's it at? Mm -hmm. All right, we want to change this to mod Q. Because this is what I'm used to. Um, Let's see if there's actually a mod Q already. So let's uh, let's actually close this so we can, uh, it's not in the way. I want to make sure there's not a mod Q already. Because um, we can't have a, yeah, we do have a, a mod Q is restart. Is that, I think we want this to be like mod shift Q. Why, why isn't mod like mod R? For restart. Mod shift R is fine. Where, is there a, like another mod R here? R. Oh, no, that's good. So that should work. Okay. And we want to do mod, so if mod plus Q. All right, that should work too. Good. And um, so some mod R should go through. See what the uh, window. Key. Right, so let's see. We want to see what the Key binding to restart Super or Specter WM is, and I think it's going to be mod Q, which is just what we changed. 
Oh, I think that's what it means by restart. I wish there was some order to these, right? They're in kind of a weird order. Like it, it'd be nice if all the um, like the window the window management key bindings were in the same position or in the same spot, and then it would go to the, all the ones that control you know the works the window manager itself. Um, it's weird that it's not okay. So let's uh write this and do mod Q. Okay, so now if that worked. I, I looks like I um, misspelled something up here. Yeah. Termite. Mod. So. Mod shift R now should. Or mod R? Yeah, mod R. Okay. So, control enter should. Control shift enter. It, yep. Opens termite. Good. Okay, so in the mod Q should quit that. Excellent. Working with fire now, people. All right, so I'm still getting an exception up here for X lock. What? So that means X lock is still in here somewhere. X lock is still in here somewhere. Apparently, it needs X lock. Okay, so you know what? We'll install X lock. sudo pacman dash s X lock. Xlock's not in the in the repository. Okay, so yay dash s xlock. Xlock is not in the what's the, what's the package name then? Weird. Okay, so you want to know what? Let's do this. Let's cd vim slash etsy slash specter wm dot com slash xlock. Okay, and then. We want to put that line back in. Program. Okay, good. All right. And we want to change this to I3 lock. Okay, and we'll close this. Pseudo Pacman. I think. I actually already have i3 lock installed. i3 lock and i3 lock color are in conflict. Okay, so I actually have i3 lock color installed. So we'll see if this works. Color mod R. No, that didn't work. Okay, so maybe it doesn't need the color identifier. Mod R. Haha, -ha, it worked. Okay. <laughs> that was way more painful than it needed to be. Um, so, this is... The video has gone on for entirely too long. And I'd like to actually race this a little bit, but I think what I'm going to do is end the video here. Uh... Because, you know, this is basically what Spectre WM is. And I've showed you a little bit about how to go about setting things up and debugging things a little bit. And then I will do another video, uh, you know, in a couple weeks or whatever, where I go through and rice this and, you know, show how to create that script for the bar and get the bar actually working so that it's actually in the right position and everything. And, um more things like that so it actually looks like something that you'd want to want to use because right now this is kind of blah it's kind of blah all right so that is it for this episode or video whatever uh if you really like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to support the channel you can do so at patreon.com slash the linux cast you can also support us for free by just subscribing because we need subscribers we also need people to watch all the way to the end of the videos um, because I really want to, you know, get this channel up and running and working really well. Um, so thank you for watching and, uh, we'll see you next time.